long ago, before Alice and Cyrus the Great, there was a prosperous kingdom in Wonderland. The young prince, Stefan, was a boy who loved adventure. Every night, after the king and queen were asleep, Stefan would sneak away and out of the castle into a nearby forest. One night, he met a young woman from another kingdom. Her name was Maleficent. From that point on, the two of them would meet every night, for they had become the best of friends, and eventually more. Their parents never knew of their absence. One early morning, Stefan's parents came to him, saying that they had arranged a marriage with him and a beautiful princess from the north who had magical powers. Her name was Morgana. Stefan begged his parents to get out of this alliance, but it was too late. Maleficent grew green with envy, but Stefan kept telling her that she was the one that he loves. But there was nothing they could do. As Morgana and Stefan drew closer, they began to have feelings for each other. When Maleficent saw this, she became jealous and practiced dark magic. Morgana and Stefan grew deeply in love. When their wedding came, Maleficent made an appearance at asking Stefan what he was doing. Stefan told her that Morgana was his true love. Maleficent left in rage, promising them that she would get her revenge. Four years later, Morgana and Stefan had a baby girl and named her Aurora. Not one day after her birth, Maleficent threatened the life of all three of them. To banish Stefan, to cast a curse on Morgana to make her heart turn evil, and to kill Aurora. Immediately, Morgana and Stefan planned to keep their baby girl safe. Morgana foresaw in a dream that Aurora would someday defeat Maleficent and bring peace to the kingdom once again. But this wasn't supposed to happen for another 100 years. Stefan and Morgana didn't know how to escape this until Morgana found a solution. What are we to do, Morgana? I have one solution, but it would be difficult. What is it? I don't think we can stop her from harming us, but I know how to save our kingdom. I can cast a spell on Aurora to make her age slower. That way, in 100 years when she is supposed to save Obsidian from Maleficent, she will only be 20 years old. Aurora would not be harmed, and since we would be gone, we could send her with Fauna since she does not age fast either. Are you certain this will not harm Aurora? I am certain. This is our only hope. Alright. I'd be happy to help you, Morgana. Thank you, Fauna. You were helping save this kingdom. My pleasure. Please excuse me, I must cast a spell on Aurora. Of course. Maleficent. Where is your child? You will never find her. As long as I get my revenge on you and Stefan, I will trap you in your own prison. Only your true love could ever save you. What are you going to do now, Morgana? I'm going to punish my brother Cyrus for what he did to me. Lovely. <laughs> How did you get here? It's time for me to break the curse you are under. Morgana? Stefan? You're back? Oh my goodness. How did you escape Maleficent? A friend helped me escape. I'm so happy to see you. Me too. I love you. So much. I love you too. Please forgive me for what I did to you. You see, long ago I was cursed so my heart would turn evil. I tried to escape the curse, but only one person could free me. My true love. We forgive you. I'm glad you're back to yourself now. As am I. Thank you, everyone. How long has it been since Maleficent vanished? About a hundred years. 
does that mean? Yes. It is Aurora's time to defeat Maleficent. We must find her and tell her of her destiny. <laughs>